Oh, welcome back. Let's play... I almost said Jane's Fighters Anthology, but no, this is... This isn't even a Let's Play. It's a Let's Build. <laughs> let's build the belated 200 subscriber special, which is in real danger of becoming the 400 subscriber special at this point. Uh, I was originally planning on doing a uh, another full-scale test, but honestly, I just don't have time for it. <laughs> so I'm going to do a few more tweaks I've been thinking about. Um, just run a couple of checks before, and next week I'll... I'll, I'll make this the first recording of next week running the full scenarios. So that way I can be sure that I have time for it. Uh, but what I want to do is uh, today it's mainly going to be WRA checks. Uh, no, it's in the side editor. Yes. Uh, Doctrine ROE. Uh, air round strafing, jettison ordinance. For now, we'll say no. Give you our engagement, crank and drag. Just because we want to. Yeah, so that's all fine. Nope. Just maintain standoff. Yes. Short route was missile waypoints. Yeah, I think. Uh, let's switch engage opportunity targets to yes. Uh, just so we don't. Cause I I don't think we have a problem with that, and we kind of already have them doing that. But uh, as far as weapon release authorizations, the main thing I wanted to check if I can find it. Is uh oh geez where is it? Uh, ba -ba -ba. Well yeah let's start with these. Uh okay so thirty seventy five percent of max range self defense. Yeah that's probably fine. Uh yeah these are fine as long as it allows uh. System default automatic fire to max range. System okay, so it, it they are set to auto fire, although the range is going to be pretty short. Although I say short, but it's probably still longer than current five inch guns. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Let's see, we have molds, harm. Where's the laser? That's the main thing I'm interested in yeah these this one's set already pretty well i feel um yeah uh let's see oh where is it uh i no lasers shot there we go i was just curious to see okay one unit system default automatic Okay, so it looks like that's set to... Uh... I will say it can use, uh... There. These targets miss a little fence value. So I'm... It's not going to affect our playthrough, really. But just that, uh... Basically letting it be used against small ships. Uh, mainly like motorboats and stuff is really the intent. Uh, as that is one of the primary weapons of it. Obviously I don't... Uh, given enough time a laser could probably fuck up a bigger ship. But <laughs> there's uh, better weapons for that right now. Whereas the big thing for laser weapons. Especially the one that they tested on the Ponce. Is using that to like burn out the... The motor of a motorboat or something, you know, to disable it and leave it dead in the water. Uh, I think that was the big thing. I did want to check on Tomahawks and make sure. Okay, no automatic fire against ships. 
Okay, yeah, we had automatic fire. So no automatic fire on land contacts. That's the uh, big other thing that I wanted to turn off because I want that to be under my control because I don't think the, the way this scenario kind of ended up being set up, things are a little wonky. Likewise, long range anti-ship missile, there is no automatic fire. And then We'll look at these two and just make sure no automatic fire, no automatic fire. Good. So I think we're pretty much set there. Uh, yeah, I think we're pretty good. Trying to think if there's anything else I'd want to add, and I don't think there is. Could make minefields, not worth it right now. And honestly, mining international waters where shipping passes through would be kind of a big deal. I mean, you already see the problems it's causing in the Black Sea, and that's a pretty small portion of shipping compared to something like the South China Sea or the Red Sea or the Persian Gulf. Um, kind of just leaving these satellites, although, eh. Eventually, I should probably use that satellite pass predictor to find out when, like, look for all the satellites that are going to pass over within 24 hours and delete all the satellites that don't, because that would definitely help the performance of the scenario. Although, to be fair, it hasn't been all that bad, so I'm not too worried. But yeah, there's... I don't think there's... I can't think of much else to tweak right now. China's already pretty well set up. Um, oh, the other thing I was going to tweak is I was... I want to put the... Um, There, just adding another five minutes to the takeoff time for the uh, Enterprise fighters. Because again, I want to. Um, I don't want the wing using all their weapons on the cruise missiles. I want them to leave some for the fleet's SM6s. So we don't get, uh, so we basically don't get overwhelmed. And I think I'll have to play with that timer because I'll probably launch, I mean, in theory, all the fighters should be up, but with the way it's currently set up, they just all launch when they can. So I'm probably going to time it so it launches when I want them to start taking off when, maybe when the first missiles are detected. Because if, even if, like, we use the SM6s just against, or the ESM, Enhanced Sea Sparrow Missiles, just against the two close threats, the two fast attack groups, even that would, could give us a few extra missiles for fighting off the Chinese fighters that are, that try to fuck up the landing queue. And that's mainly what I want to prevent. So I think that will do us for now so with that thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time and stay safe out there and we'll see you then